All right, so Sister Grace, uh, when were you arrested yesterday? What happened? Like, well, we were in the county building. We wanted to, we oh, wanted doing, Maggie Brooks on, to reschedule a meeting that had been called off the week before. Oh, and all we want to do is talk to them about finding a place right now for the homeless that are dispersed out in the streets now because they closed the garage August 20th. And so they had canceled the meeting we had scheduled. We went back there to ask them to reschedule. And we could not get into the office at all, Maggie Brooks' office at all. Dan DeLoss was there, uh, but he would not come out. We were asking for him. We were asking for uh, for Maggie and for him. They were saying that Maggie wasn't there. Dan DeLoss was there, but he would not come out and meet with us. So we were there uh, protesting, and we were told that if we stayed on the first floor, we were welcome to stay there, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, so then someone came down and said uh, that we were making too much noise, the chanting, we were making too much noise. We went up on the fourth floor, uh, the police followed us up and told us we couldn't be up there. So we wanted to go to the third floor and the police stopped us. And so we went down to the first floor and uh, then I walked up the stairs to the second floor. And I went into the Human Resources office. I said I want to meet with uh, Kelly Reed, you know, the Commissioner of um, Welfare. Mm -hmm. And the woman, really, she looked perplexed. And this other woman that was behind her, you know, walked away. She didn't want to deal with us. And so we just sat down. I said, well, we want to meet with Kelly Reed. Uh, Tom and I sat down, and uh, then Ryan came in. And the next thing you know, the police came in and told us we had to leave. And we said, well, all we want to do is set up a meeting so that you had to leave. Either leave or you'll be arrested. And I said, well, I'm staying. And so we were arrested and brought to to the jail. But the interesting thing about jail was I was in a cell with some of our clients. <laughs> And they wanted to be in the cell with me. When they saw me, they wanted to be in the cell with me. So we were sharing a cell together. And we appeared today in court. You know, they were in court today, too. What do you want from Maggie Brooks? I want a meeting. Uh, to, just, to I want a meeting with Maggie Brooks uh, because she's in hiding, hiding behind Kelly Reed uh, and the other, uh, the other representatives. I want her to take care of the homeless that have been put out of the garage now, the ones that are dispersed all over the city. I want her to take care of them right now, find a place for them, a comfortable place for them. Um, but they're putting the responsibility on us, and we're telling her that this is the county's responsibility. Uh, and she doesn't want to hear it, she doesn't want to meet with us, and Kelly Reed is, is supporting her and protecting her. Um, and uh, I did tell Kelly Reed, you know, no, I Maggie Brooks is the one who decided that you would not have this meeting. And, and Kelly said, well, I agreed to it. I said, but still, it's Maggie Brooks who's calling the shots. And Maggie Brooks is like in hiding. She doesn't. She will not meet with us. We want her to come to the table to meet with us, to take care of the population that, of homeless that the colony does not want to take care of. They're the ones that were in the garage. They took care of some of them, but the ones that were in the garage are dispersed now. And what the county is saying, well, if they, if we find a place for them, if we try to get them help and they refuse to cooperate with us, that's their problem. But many of them have mental issues. And you need time, and they need to be taken care of. Um, and just because they're not going to do exactly what the county tells them to do, there's no reason to put them back out in the streets. And with the weather turning colder now, nights are cold, wet, and winter is coming. It's a shame that, that they put the homeless out at this point. Uh, I remember um, uh, um, Goldstein um, from Mamco, he said August was the time to put them out because this was the weather was good. Um, I said it makes no difference what the weather is like. You put them out and there's going, there's, there's going to be inclement weather and it's hard to get cold nights and we, we see them on the streets and you know it's like where is their heart, where is their compassion? Uh, they need to reach out to the homeless that they are refusing to help.